guys welcome back to another episode of medieval dynasty so today what we are going to do is see if we can't craft up some more food um we'll see if we can't get um those thousand logs built and uh let's see what else can we do uh we already did the farming last episode so pretty sure we're good on that uh, we could decorate around here a little bit more too. I wouldn't mind putting a few more additional things in here. Uh, might take a little bit of time to do though. Uh, we need planks and a few other things, but... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to go to one of the towns, and a couple of the towns actually, and see if there's any people that we can put in the kitchen so we can start producing some actual food without needing to do it ourselves. Uh, that will open up a lot more time for building and uh, farming and other things like that. So let's uh, go to this town first. It looks like there's two people in this one that we can take a look at. And before we travel, we should probably get some water. But I wanted to see if there's anyone that can manage production. All right, this guy actually has production. Uh, production, hunting. Yeah, we'll we'll get this guy then. How's life treating you? Uh, I want you to come to my settlement. How is life treating? You? And then we'll tell him to go to that house, and we'll assign him to the kitchen. All right, and then we need a kitchen set up. So we'll go to management. Uh, we need that building, I think, and then we need to go to production, kitchen, and then what we can do is uh, we'll put that food into the food storage, and then we can tell him to start making... Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll probably have to go there first to... Uh... See if we can't make any of those up. I I don't remember what the recipe was. I think it's pottage that we need. So we'll probably get I'd say about thirty three percent, maybe this or a thirty four, thirty two. I don't know, somewhere in there. Um, that's with salt and meat. Then we'll do stew, which is carrots. I think we'll go with like thirty three on this one. Oh, this needs to be 34, that's right.
Alright, so I decided to make another field uh, over on this side. I tried looking around for another location to put it, but there's not a lot of places to actually build this field, so... Um, I figured right where we were going to put it would probably do just fine. And uh, what I wanted to do was utilize this field for um, oats and I believe we can probably grow um, rye uh, in this field during the winter and oats during the summer. And that will free up the... Um, well, rye we could probably grow up during the um, winter, uh, so that's not really an issue, but it, we can always just have this one ready for production regardless. So, um, oats-wise, I think it requires at least a season to grow, if I remember correctly. I don't know where this ends. I think it's... Yeah, it was just a couple more over. It's an 8x8 field, just like this, the same one that we have for over there, but... Um, it's taking a little bit of time to uh, till up. And then we have to fertilize it. And I need to get... Um, some seeds for oats to plant. Because I'm pretty sure we need to plant it in the... Did I miss one? Oh, one more over. Um, need to plant another um, Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I just know that we need oats in order to sustain animals and rye can be grown over there during the winter, I guess. But uh, we'll go ahead and Eat a little bit and then we should probably get a drink of water too and then in the morning what we'll do is we'll go into town and we'll see if we can't purchase some oats I need to see how much rye we have so we can kind of even that out so we'll need money Probably need to bathe. We haven't done that for a while. Okay, let's take a quick look at our rice seeds and we'll see how many we need to purchase.
Alrighty then, so we got the entire field so, uh, sewn, and we got, um, I believe we purchased like six, four oat seeds. Uh, just enough to plant uh, during the spring. We have about 66 for the rye, so we'll be able to plant um, rye during the winter, and then it should be able to be utilized all year round for this whole entire field just using those two things. Uh, I wouldn't mind though decorating a little bit of this area up to get um, a fence up just to decorate it a little bit. Um, we'll need to obviously see if we can't um, go ahead and uh, place down a fence but I figure what we'll end up doing is... Oh, you know what? We should probably go to put our hammer on. That way we can see the... The outline. I'm just gonna... I'm not sure if I can remove that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then what we can do is we can go here. And I figure we'll put the entrance... Probably put the entrance over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build as close as I can to here as possible, leaving just a little bit of a gap on the edge. Just a tiny one, so we can connect all this up. And I'm gonna bring that all the way to here. And then we can go this way. there and then I figure if we're putting the entrance over here then what we're going to do is we're going to leave about let's say about that much space for gate um, let's just check to see how it looks that yeah, looks pretty good a little bit of grass on the inside. Uh, this side's a little bit e better done than the other ones. So might try to rebalance on it. Let's just take a look and see. Yeah, let's try to get that a little bit better on this side. These two sides are a little bit too far away.
Alright, so we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. Uh, we got um, a few things sorted out. Uh, the cook was basically cooking up the meals and stuff, but what was happening was it was getting um, eaten by the villagers, so we haven't made any profit from uh, today for too much outside of some cans of uh, stew, but we'll be able to sell that for, I, well, uh, not 40, <laughs> not as much now, we just ate that, whoops. Uh, but uh, we'll be able to sell that, and then we also made this uh, oat field, or not oat field, but like a, another farm, farming field, and then we're going to be growing rye here during the winter, and we're going to be growing oats during the summer. So, summer and uh, summer or spring to summer, I believe. So, those will be the main sources of our livestock. Now, the next thing that we need to start focusing on is getting uh, maybe a herbologist or a herbalist. I always say her herbologist, but I don't know why. But we need someone to deal with uh, herbs so we can get a whole bunch of berries uh, during the summer. So, we're going to need a house and we're going to need a, another uh, building area for our workers. So I figure what we're going to end up doing is we're probably going to find another place to build a small settlement. Nothing too huge, but just something that we can kind of get something set up. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with up on the hill over there. We'll see if we can ex expand that way. But that's for next time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.